Hi guys, it is Mr. Fed here and we are back in the man cave and today we are going to do a let's play video and we're going to have a go at um, Rodia, um, the Sky Soldier. Um, I bought this off eBay, uh, £15, still in its cellophane wrap, so brand new. Um, if you open it up, it comes with uh, two games. It comes with the Wii version of the game and it comes with the uh, Wii U version of the game. Um, now, if you've read anything about this game and uh, believe the rumours, I can confirm the rumours are true that the Wii U version of this game is actually worse than the Wii game. Um, I don't know how the developers uh, managed to um, export the same game to the next generation console and actually make it worse, but they have. Um, some of the issues really are to do with the controls. So the Wii U version, you have to play with the Wii U gamepad using the dual um, thumbsticks. Uh, the problem with that is uh, the game requires some real precision flying um, and you don't get the precision you need with the um, dual thumbsticks. Um, I think the developers really missed a trick here because you've got the, you know, the gamepad. So I think you could actually get the precision flying you need if you use the gamepad and the um, stylus if you just tapped on the gamepad where you want to fly to. Um, I think that would have been absolutely brilliant um, way to play this game. But the developers didn't do that. I have no idea why. I think it was just a, a real bonus, lazy port. Um, I can actually only count four games that utilize the uh, gamepad really to its full potential. And that's um, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush, uh, Star Fox Zero, Pikmin 3 and Zombie U. Um, but this game, Rodia the Sky Soldier, was designed to use the gamepad, but the developers didn't do it. So we will be playing the Wii version of the game um, and we'll be using the Wii remote. We'll be using the motion controls. Now, I've not played the Wii version of the game, but I'm quite excited that the motion controls will give you the precision that you need to fly around the screen. Um, so, yeah, without uh, any further ado, I think we should just get um, straight into some gaming. Okay guys, so we are into the Wii menu. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I've not played the um, Wii version of this game before. So, the first, what you're seeing is essentially what I'm seeing. I do love those, uh, those Nintendo warnings about not throwing your Wii remote through a bloody window. <laughs> we'll try not to do that. <coughs> Uh, remove the extension controller before playing. Oh, right, so I guess you can't use the nunchuck. See, I told you I've not played this before. So I've removed my nunchuck. Let's get straight into gaming. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll just go to start. There's no point in looking at whatever options we might have, is there? So for a Nintendo Wii game, uh, it doesn't look too bad for a Nintendo Wii game. I mean, if this was on the Wii U, well, it is on the Wii U, um, I would say that it uh, looks pretty terrible for a Wii U, but for a Wii game, not too bad. Okay. I reckon we're gonna probably do about two levels, guys, because uh, then the pub might be calling. Okay, so destination set in for the rainbow We can do that. So we've got the cross controls, that's fine. Uh, 
the next target too. Right, okay, so this is a flying lesson. Uh, point the target location and hold down the B button. Well, we can do that. Um, hold the B button and swing the Reaver remote to fly. Okay. Um, if the pointer doesn't turn red, the location is too far away. Okay, fine. So, point at the target location. Where am I going? and swing the Reaver remote to fly. Okay, skip. Fine. Ah. I'll try flying again. Why not? Okay, so far so good. You will fly in an arc towards where the pointer is, that's fine. Why didn't you give it a try? that button there. I don't know what it was asking me to do. Release the A button to return to normal flight. Try attacking again. Okay. So we grab that, we swing, we boost attack that, we keep flying over, okay, fine, got the hang of that, boost attack to destroy various objects, fine, okay, let's keep going. So this is actually a quite a decent tutorial. Um, not a lot of games would give you sort of the amount of time and patience to try and pick this up. So move the pointer to the edges to move the camera. Yeah, point the... Do I need to get over there? Oh no, I've just fell on the corner of the screen. Hold on. Let's get back up there. Okay, we don't want to fall down there. So that's a so that's a bit of a problem there, isn't it? We're a bit skew with you with our controls, it's fine.
Okay, so the attack is actually a lot better. Um, I managed to get three decent hits on that um, without uh, too many problems, so that's good. I wish it used the nunchuck though to be able to move your character, that would be uh, much, much better. One thing I'm really happy about is uh, no fuel gauge. I tell you, they, they really ruined this game on the Wii U by putting in a fuel gauge. All due respect. No, I'm not some unfeeling robot. I have a heart like you. The heart that you gave me, Princess. I won't do it. I won't follow that order. Thank you. But you are not Superman. I do. And I promise you. We will save the world together. So this is where we find out I'm a robot. So, I think we're just going to get straight into level 1. I don't think we need to mess around with anything else, do we? Who knows? You were buried in the desert after all. In the desert. I found you and prepared you. You've been my gun instinct. You're a gun. Your right arm was especially trash. I managed to repair most of it. So how does it feel? Uh, I don't know. We will save the robot together. Right. I'm... So that's how you pronounce it, Rodea. I was calling it all sorts, like rodeo. <laughs> okay. Ah no, where's he going? Ah, back. Okay, so if you land on the first one in the sequence there, it seems that you uh, will collect the others. So, shall we fly towards that? Let's have a look. Right, I don't know what I've got there. What have I got? Uh, it will improve your flight performance. It will pick up again after a while. Okay. So that's good. Crystals. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, uh, much better than that. Oh, I've got a collectible there. Oh, what's going on with me, Wii Remote? Um, so we'll collect that. 
and we'll get this crystal here. No. Fab. Okay, so we scoot round here. Is there anything else we need to collect? I don't know. I didn't see too much. Uh, oh yeah, let's go get that crystal over there. So if we can fly over there, then we use a boost attack. Uh, we missed it. Okay, let's turn around. Turn around, turn around. There we go. Let's fly through that. I'm assuming it's going to take us up. Um, what's this door here? What does that do? Okay. Okay, there's uh, some collectibles to get here. I don't know. How, I don't know what they are. I guess they just help you fly. I mean, I've got no idea what they do. But anyway, let's go back to the door. Uh, right. So let's have a look. Uh, they look like something we need to collect. So let's go grab those. Right, okay, so, any other collectibles here, guys? Walking is a bit problematic. Flying is okay. Um, Didn't go right, did it? That's better. Right, let's go back. Let's turn the screen around. Uh, forward. Um, so these look like they're breakable, so if we fly towards one of those and use a dash attack... So we got something there, didn't we? Um, so there looks like there needs to be some sort of unlockable... Ah! If in doubt, follow the diamonds. Uh, there we go. So we've unlocked a little secret. I mean, if you've got the patience for it, you know, I am enjoying this. Um, I guess that's it though, isn't it? It's, it's about practice, um, getting used to the motion controls. Uh, and motion controls are I mean, essentially, all about practice. So we've got something over there. Let's fly over there and get that. Okay, so we've landed. Right, any other collectibles around? Because um, if there's one thing I know, it is I really hate missing collectibles. So it looks like we can fly towards that platform there. So if we fly on... Um... 
Right, so we bounce off the wall and we fix onto our new... Yeah, this is this is really enjoyable. I, I I'm really getting the hang of this now. Um, so let's collect all these. Yeah. So I'm guessing. We can fall, and then we need to get ourselves up here, and then into the door. Fab. Right. So it looks like we've got another collectible. Now, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get up there, but let's have a go. Right. So I've hooked onto it with my tail. No, I'm falling. <laughs> no, didn't attack that, did I? Come on, spin tack. There we go. There's a collectible there. Let's get that. And then... Looks like some more crystals over here. No, I'm not spin attacking for some reason. Ah, that's better. Yes, yeah, so I've got three decent hits on that. Nope, missed. Okay. So sometimes my Wii remote is getting a little bit stuck, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. Have I been through that door? I don't know, but let's, let's check it out. No, I haven't, fine. Oh, doesn't look like I'll be getting the collectible there. Doesn't matter. Okay, so where do they want us to go now? We've been over there, haven't we? Have we? Where are we going? Let's get up there, shall we? So that's the first level and that was really quite enjoyable apart from my Wii remote getting stuck um, on occasion uh, kind of almost losing track with the uh, with the sensor down there um, you know I didn't have too many problems with that um, that was really enjoyable I, I'm quite eager to give the second level a go there was um, there was some good challenges there uh, I'm gutted I missed that last collectible there um, Clearly, you needed to maintain your jumping uh, up, um, but I ran out of coins, and uh, obviously, I didn't <laughs> didn't reach the top. Never mind.
He hasn't moved for 1,000 years. After a millennium of waiting, Garuda will finally be mine. Soldiers, attack! Oh, that's quite good. It gives you a little ranking system here. So you've got medals here. I mean, look at, I guess I missed one, two, three, four, five medals. I picked up four. Um, gave me an S for new record, but a C overall. Fine. I'm quite eager to play uh, chapter two. So this level looks like it's got some enemies in it, so might be some fighting, might be some dodging uh, bullets, but we can lock on there, we can fly, oh shoot, I want to go back, back. I'll go through there. There we go. Oh, all right, it just took me back to where I was anyway. Let's go get my tail. So, no. where am I going? Where am I going? Um, there's some enemies there. Let's uh, see what we can do with these. Okay. Yeah, for some... Let's fly towards that one. There we go. Right, so I think maybe you just have to hit those a little bit more square on in order to create a... So, okay. Let's bounce off this wall. We jump up. We should be able to get that. Nope. Absolutely messed that up horribly. So let's go back round. Uh, yeah, I think you just have to hit these a little bit square on and then you'll get a little boost, like a sort of a chain reaction. There's a little collectible there, so we'll get that. Okay, um, where else do we want to go? Uh, let's have a look. Spiky balls. Um, I don't know. What can I do with those? Um, do I just have to avoid them? I'm thinking that I probably can't attack them. So if we just avoid for now. Um, I don't know what that is, but let's fly into it, see what we get. 
I've got a gun. Right. Press the A button. All oh, right, so I can shoot. So I'm wondering if I can shoot these uh, spiky balls. Let's have a look. Let's get close. Yes. Yes, that's fine. So we can shoot the spiky balls, but we can't fly into them. Uh, I don't know what happened there. So this must mean collectibles of some description. Did I miss something? I think I missed something there, didn't I? So, uh, I don't know, I can't shoot anything, can I? Um, no, I thought I saw some uh, collectibles up there, but obviously I didn't get what I needed to get, but never mind. Um, okay, so we can shoot these, we know that, that's fine, get rid of them. Um, now, where are we going? So we've already been that way. We need to turn around. Right, something here. Let's, uh, let's get me tail. So we can get rid of that. I want to get me bell, don't I? Because that's a save point. Uh, let's go in here. Get these here. dying uh, let's wait for that to come down wait for it to go up um, let's attack it no I don't know why I'm not why I'm not, I can't attack that box for some reason. Come on. No, I think I've lost my attack power. Okay, well, we won't worry about it. Let's just get away from those uh, things there.
Yes, I am. I think I'm died. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so there is death on this game then. I thought I had a... I don't have my machine gun anymore. That's a bit problematic, isn't it? How do I get my machine gun? What's that up there? Yeah, I'm not gonna, oh. No, I'm losing my attack and all sorts here. I don't know what's going on. So I have a sneaky feeling that I can only attack when I've got, oh crikey, when I've got my power up. Ah, where am I going? Right, so I've got my power up. Right, so I can destroy the cannons. Fine. Ah, there's a machine gun there. Right, so I've got my machine gun. So then I can go destroy those spikes, I think, can't I? these collectibles here. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Right, now we can, there we go. Right, okay, so I'm getting the hang of this game. Um, in terms of some of the power-ups, um, oh, right. So you can only, ah, okay, so there's a number above these doors, as I says, 100 here, but if you look down on my gem count I've only got 27 gems so ah uh, okay that makes sense I need to collect the gems in order to be over in order to be able to open the door okay so let's just uh let's forget about the gems then we've obviously missed some collectibles there um right 
Entonces. Ahí. Right, there's a little save point, that's good. Um, let's get that little thing there. And then where else can we go? What's this? No, can't get through that. Fine. Can I go under it? Spring up. Okay, fine, get another machine gun, fantastic. Um, right, these guns here, can I can I reach those? Yeah, let's get rid of these because they're a pain in my backside. Another collectible. Okay. So, where are we now? And what are we doing? Uh, that's too far, so I can't get him. Um, so I could spring off this thing here. And I could try and get this guy here. No, he's going to bury himself. Fine, we'll skip around him then. Some crystals. Okay, that's good. We'll bounce up here. These cobwebs are highly, highly annoying. Um, Let's get this guy here, shall we? And we'll get our power up. Can you see any collectibles around here? Um, what's that down there? This doesn't look like anything there, does it? No, they're just your, your tail power up. So you can't do a charge attack unless you have your, your tail power up. Yeah. This little thing here. Let me get rid of that. Uh, we want to get that. Okay. So, swing there. Let's get that. And that is the end of the second level. Again, a little bit trickier that one, but um, <laughs> really pleasant game. I mean, it's not a 10 out of 10 game. Um, I think it's maybe a sort of a six and a half, seven out of 10. What are you talking about? How could you forget little old me? Oh, me? You've betrayed us all. How dare you act like you're not 
time is. I don't know. Need my power up. No, my power up. I'm not getting me. There we go. No, get me power up. Ah. Can't track him. <laughs> right. Right, I've got my power up. Um, right, this is hard. Um, because me and the Wii remote is all over the place. He's Okay. Oh, it's a decent hit. Yes. Oh, my lord. That was uh that was hard. So, I think uh we did two chapters. We did a boss fight. Um I think we might end it there just as a kind of a taster kind of review. Um we'll just get through this last cutscene. And then I'll give my uh, my final thoughts.
Oh, we're still on chapter two. child is. Did I find it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is very Japanese, isn't it? Alright, this is still chapter two, so we're going to keep going. Um, that was it. Where the hell am I going then? Oh my god, all the way up here. Grab all these herbs then. Okay. Okay. That's two. Let's. Swing this thing round. I think there's a herb down here, wasn't there? Yep. 
Right, so one more herb. Why am I collecting these herbs? I have absolutely no idea. I've completely lost the plot with the storyline. There's my herb up there. So let's fly up here. Hopefully we'll get a decent bounce up and then we can collect that herb there. Okay. So, is that the end of chapter two? I mean, I've had a boss fight. I've found the baby. I've collected some herbs. see and look at that oh only one uh, collectible there so I mean finding the all these collectibles are um, they seem tricky don't they so uh, okay well I think we're gonna call it a day call it a, uh, end there let's go back to the title screen um, yes so it does auto save, but that's Radio the Sky Soldier. Let's uh, let's go back and uh, have some final thoughts. Uh, so uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, we played uh, about two levels of uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier. There, um, I actually really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm going to continue playing that game. Uh, we'll try and do chapter three. I don't know whether I'm going to finish it, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, I think it was about six and a half, seven out of ten, to be honest. Um, I thought the motion controls were were really good. I th you know, a few moments there where my uh, my Wii remote was getting stuck, um, and I was sort of struggling to move it around the screen. But that only happened about five percent of the time. Ninety five percent of the time, it was absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that is a game that I'm going to put a, maybe another couple more hours into to see how I get on. Um, but we will do another Let's Play series uh, soon and um, we will see you in the next video.